Hello students, welcome to the summer camp. Today we are going to do an all new activity. This activity is for students of class 4 and class 5. Today we are going to learn origami. Origami is an art of making objects by folding paper. Today I am so excited to announce that we are going to learn how to make a crane. So let us see how will it look like. So this is what a crane will look like after you have made it out of paper. Are you excited to do this activity? I am so excited. For this activity, you will need only one thing. You will need one piece of paper. Any colored paper will do. If you do not have any colored paper, you can also use white paper or you can color the paper. You can color it with any color that you like. Now, let us start the activity. Let's go. So, let us start with the activity now. You will need a rectangular piece of paper. But for making the crane, you will have to make it a square. So, let us make this rectangular piece of paper into a square. Pick this corner and place it on this side and then make a fold. Ensure that when you are doing this, your sides line up properly. Okay? You will need sharp edge edges. Make this fold like this. Your rectangular piece of paper should now look like this. Next, turn this paper. Cut out this portion. So, pick this paper up. Place it like this and make another fold. Okay? Now, slowly and carefully tear out this piece of the paper. You may also use scissors. Ensure that your edges are even. You will not need this. This rectangular piece of paper is no longer needed. So keep it aside. We will now work with this square piece of paper. Do you see your paper has now become a square? Now, the first thing that we will do is we will make another fold in along this diagonal. Okay? So I will pick this corner up. And I will place it like this so that my square piece of paper now becomes a triangle. Remember to make clean, nice folds. See, my square piece of paper has now become a triangle. Then I will open this fold and I will fold this square piece of paper into half. So I will pick this side. And I will place it on this side. And I will press along this edge. And I will fold it in half. See, the square piece of paper has now become a rectangle. I will open this fold. And I will fold my paper again. I will pick up this edge and place it over the opposite edge. Let us try this. Press against the, this side so that it makes clear hole. So now it is again a rectangle. Now I will open this fold and I will fold my paper again along one diagonal. Okay. So I will pick this edge and fold it against this diagonal and make it a triangle. Now turn this paper towards you so that the flat edge is towards you and the pointed end is away from you. Move your finger slowly along this crease and lift this paper and push it like this. You should be able to make this fold. Your paper will look like this. Now repeat the same thing on the other side. So move your finger along this crease and lift the paper. Put 
it inside. Now your paper will look like this small square. Lift your paper and take two flaps on your right and two flaps on your left. After this, place your paper in a way so that the closed end is away from you and the open end, your open end is facing towards you. Remember to have two flaps on the right and two flaps on the left. After this, lift any one side and place it along this middle crease. Do you see this fold? Place it along this middle crease just like this. Okay, now do the same thing on the with your other side. Make the fold like this. Your paper should now look like this. Let me give you a clearer view. Your paper should look like this. Now, flip this over to the other side and repeat the steps. Pick this side and place it along the crease and make a fold. Remember to press hard on the sides so that the folds are clean. Do repeat the same step with this side as well. Place it along the middle crease and then press against the edge to make a fold. Now, your small square piece of a paper looks like a kite. Now, pick this paper up. Do you see this small triangular piece at the top? You will fold this triangular piece in a way so that this pointed head now will point towards you. So fold it like this so that the pointed head is now towards you. Press hard on this crease so that this is a proper fold. Make sure that your paper now looks like this. Repeat the same step by making this fold on the other side. This means Flip the paper, lift the triangular piece and fold it again in a way so that it faces you. Press hard again, make the same fold and ensure that the paper looks like this. Now open this triangular head and very carefully open one flap. Okay? Now, once you have opened this flap, flip it over and make the fold. So your paper was like this, lift this, open this fold, flip it like a page, make the fold on the opposite side. Done. Now you have made this fold for this piece of paper. So flip it back and repeat the same step with the left flap. Open this flap, flip it to the opposite side, make the fold. Done. Now flip the entire paper back. On the opposite side, you will see there are two folds again. Pick the right flap, open the fold, flip the entire thing. I want to repeat. Now that you have repeated it for this side, Flip it back so that this side is completely plain. Then flip the entire kite shaped paper on its back. You will see you have two pieces again. Now open the right flap, turn it again and make the fold. Remember to press down harder. Turn it back. Repeat the same step with the other flap. Open the flap, turn the piece of paper, 
and fold it inside one more time. Your paper still looks like a kite. Now that you have repeated all these fluffs, now your big paper which now looks like this, like a kite, you will now open all the folds that you did. So I will open two on this side, I will flip it over and I will open the flaps again on the two sides. Now this is the next step is very important. Do it carefully. Place this small square of square piece of paper in a way that the open side is towards you and the closed side is away from you. Now lift this open side like this. And push these two sides together. So, your piece of paper will now look like this. Lift the, lift the open piece of paper, lift one flap and then push it back in a way so that you are able to bring these two corners together. Your paper should look like this. Once you have reached this stage, flip the entire piece on its back and repeat the step. Lift this flap slowly and carefully while bringing these two corners together. You see? Do it carefully so that you don't tear the sides. Good job! Now your paper should look like this. On one side you should be able to see these two points and a small triangle. On the other side these two sides should be free. Once you have done this, place the paper in a way so that the free sides are towards you and the small triangle is away from you. Now, when you have the free sides towards you, slowly lift it from the right and turn this piece in a way that this triangle, smaller triangle is exposed. Now, lift this bigger triangular piece from your side and place it away from you. Make this fold. It should look like this. You see, one of these triangles is missing here because it has moved to that side. Be careful to match the three sides while you do this step. Now, the next step is open this flap. Open this flap and now put this triangular piece away from you. Place it away from you and make another fold. Do this carefully kids. It should now look like a triangular piece of paper. And when you look, it, look at it from the top, it will look like this. Flip one small triangle on its back so that now you have this. You should have two on the side and then one on the right and one on the left. The one, the triangles on my right and my left will now become the head and the tail of the crane. So I will make the right one the head and the left one the tail. So I will take the head out a little bit and I will make this fold. I will take the tail also out a little bit more than the head and it will look like this okay so now my paper looks like this now I need to make a beak for my bird so I will open this fold very carefully I will only open the tip and I will press it down just like this so that now I will have the beak of my crane 
do you see can you see the beak of my crane now i will slowly put the wings down so these are the wings i will put it down but i will not put a fold here so that they can flap up now my crane is ready can you see the crane the head the tail and the wings Okay now that we have finished the activity this is the crane that i made i hope all of you have also been able to finish making your own crates please remember to upload a picture of this crane on the parent app as part of the summer camp share this picture also with your teachers so that they can share it with me remember the schools which finished the all the summer activities the top 3 schools will be receiving exciting rewards from us so what are you waiting for quickly take a picture and upload it all right thank you so much have a good day happy learning bye